tryna get a bag I'ma cut the middle man If you can do it then I can I'ma cut the middle man I'm just tryna get a bag Hey y'all, it's me Co Marie and I'm back with another video In this video I'm gonna be making my custom heart photo pendants in the style of a necklace these are pendants that i just recently made i just wanted to share them with you i thought it was pretty cool how the pendants are double sided this gives our customers an option to get two pictures and so yeah if you're interested in that i did get these off of amazon we've done several of these together but i wanted to do an updated version so at this point i do like to pour my glue into a container um because i like to have more control over my glue now if that makes any sense um diamond glaze is the glue that i'm using right now and it's more liquid based um so i it can run and too much can come out at one time and we just want to avoid that okay so that is what i'm doing now okay for the heart shaped pendants i don't have a puncher i actually just use regular scissors um and so we're gonna also need our photo Okay, so here is the pendant that I'm going to be using. I think this pendant and chain combination is so freaking cute. Now, these chains actually came with the pendant seen in the first clip. Okay, so I got them off of Amazon. I'll make sure to link it in the description. Okay, so when it comes to cutting our picture, what I do is basically line our dome up with the photo and the same way you would trace around it, I cut around it. And of course, this is not going to be the perfect heart, but it's going to get the job done. I'll just make sure I have some kind of cut in the middle again this is not me trying to make a perfect heart it's just so that it falls in place with the actual shape of the tray setting So now we grab our pendant. Now I've already put the chain through mine only because I don't like touching it when I have used the glue. So I'm actually going to be using a regular plastic spoon to apply the glue. Remind me to go and buy a paintbrush. <laughs> So here we want to take our time and actually spread out the glue, smooth the glue around. Um, what we were doing before is just squeezing the glue out, praying that we didn't get any air bubbles, hoping that the glue goes wherever it needs to go. But let's just go ahead and take control of that. Let's manually spread the glue all over. That way we're guaranteed to get no air bubbles, reducing the time it takes to make these and reducing the stress.
use a baby wipe to carefully wipe away any excess glue found around your pendant. Using baby wipes help to give it a clean finish. I always try to use a jewelry box for these orders only because it looks more professional. It just kind of takes it up a notch. So I get these white jewelry boxes from Hobby Lobby. They're normally $9.99. Now they do have them at Walmart as well. I'm not sure how much they cost or how many come in the box. But at Hobby Lobby, they're $10 and there's $10 inside. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to leave comments, ask any questions that you want in the comment section below. Like, comment, don't forget to subscribe and enjoy these photos of my work. If you would like to place an order, please follow me on either my Instagram, which is linked in the description, or you can send me an email. My business email is in the description as well. Thank you.